Uh, Merrill, this is Michael with the Bollinger and Daily News. Uh, how much did that slow start kind of really kind of put you guys behind the eight ball a bit and maybe use a lot of energy to try to get back in that game and change things there in the second half? Yes, well, we start bad and that affect us to like we have to come back to the game, but it doesn't happen just a little bit. We didn't get stopped enough to get back to the game, but I don't know. It's tough lose for us. Hi, Merrill. Drew Tennis with the College Heights Herald. Um, is there anything that you would say that you did better tonight that you, than you did uh, from last night? I think, I don't know. I think we, we just start bad. Like um, yesterday we play a, uh, a bad second quarter, but today we start bad in the first quarter and we start to come back to the game. But I think we did good on the boards. Like me and Fatou start to go get rebound more. Yesterday I just get one and Fatou get two. So today I think we start to get more rebound and that helped us to come back to the game, but we give up more threes for them. So that make us not come back to the game. Did you guys feel like there in that third quarter that if you could have got another stop or two that, that you could have really you know maybe pulled even or even got ahead because I think they shot like 60 percent there in the third quarter yeah I think we started the third quarter like like not bad but I think we st we care about like number one more than the other players like we didn't care about number 31 or 33 they're shooting threes but we just care about number one and that make us to gave up threes for number 31 or number th 33. So they shooting good and they make it. So that make us to not coming back to the game, but we start like trying to go the three point line, but they still make it. Anything else? All right, Merrill Drew Tennis again with the College Heights Herald. So going forward into your next matchup, what do you think you're going to be working on in practice? I was working to make threes, like catch and shoot, because I'm not good like to get off dribble or behind the screen. I was trying like to catch and shoot it. I think I did a good job on that. I just get two and four and to run in transition. I think that helped us a little bit to come back to the game, but not every time. Like we didn't get stopped, so that doesn't help anything. Like to just score and then get stopped to come back to the game. So. That's it. This is Hunter Smith from WBKO. Is there anything you guys can do specifically just to um, avoid having those slow starts in the first half? I don't know. I, I don't know, like, if we was ready for the game. I don't know what happened. Like, nobody was focused on the game. We didn't make shots. We just get, like, drive and threes. I don't know what, what happened for us, but... After that, we start to get more energy and make some shots and give Nemo ball inside. And I make some threes, so we start to come back to the game. But I don't know why we start bad today, but Coach Collins start to talk to us in the halftime, like in the halftime or in the timeout to make us to get back to the energy and play hard and not give up. Like we still have 20 minutes or 30 minutes to play, but I don't know, like, we give we give up some threes for them, so I don't know. Any last questions? Thank you, yeah. So I was wondering, what do you think that your team did well tonight, as compared to last night? Well, we, we kept playing hard. We kept there was stretches where we didn't uh, play as intensely as as we knew to. But again, they kept fighting. We had a horrible first quarter. And like last night, we had a really horrible second quarter, uh, but they kept fighting. We got back in the game, uh, but we can't score enough. We can't put enough layups and free throws uh, in the basket so that we can get enough points to come back and take a lead. Coach Drew Tennis again with the Call Tights Herald. So uh, going forward, because I know you have Old Dominion next, uh, what, are you, what are you gonna work on with your team in practice? Well, Drew, I think 
scoring would be a good idea. What do you think? <laughs> I think we should shoot the stinking ball and make a layup and make a free throw and, and 19 turnovers again tonight. Now they had 19 turnovers as well, but you're not going to win if you keep missing, missing layups by the rim and you keep missing free throws and you're not putting, you know, we can't win with 60. And so we're leaving a lot of points on the board uh, just by missing those easy shots. Coach, uh, Michael Condor with the Bowling Green Daily News. Uh, Merrill said that that third quarter when they shot like 60% to kind of get it back to double digits, that if the defensively they were so kind of focused on the haze that they left some people open. What did you kind of see there in the third quarter that allowed middle to kind of get the game back in control? Yeah, they, they were hitting us for the three in the corner. And, and so, you know, it's, it's a little bit, I mean, that's the strategy. I mean, we got to, you got to, sometimes you got to pick your poison a little bit, but uh, we needed, we need those players on the bottom of that zone to fly out there and run them off that three point line. And that's what we need. And so some of that was getting busted in the corner, but some of it was offensive rebounds leading to another shot. And so uh, uh, we've got to continue to do a better job on the defensive boards, but uh, Hayes still got, out in transition, she still got to the basket. Uh, we got to get out in those three-point shooters and make sure they put it on the floor. I don't think they were going to uh, beat us on the drive as much as they were beating us from the three-point line. So we can't hope they miss it. We got to get out there and make them put it down. She also mentioned she just d didn't know why they got off to such a slow start, and, but that the intensity wasn't there. Could you kind of see that as a coach that maybe they came out a little flat tonight? Yeah, they were definitely flat. And I think some of that is just playing back-to-back. Uh, playing two games in, in, in 24 hours. Uh, but they weren't flat in, in shoot around. They all had good energy and shoot around today. Uh, they seemed focused and ready. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I think some of that is, again, just needing that ball to go in and get a little mojo, get a little energy going. Uh, that help if you can kind of get some. When we played Marshall here at home and we got, we scored in the first quarter real well, uh, the energy picks up. And so right now they're frustrated. I'm frustrated because we're not putting enough points on the board. And so I think, uh, you know, they get the energy uh, from scoring, and they've played pretty solid defense. We get some turnovers, but we haven't even turned our turnovers into tr enough transition baskets. So uh, we need some more of those 6 8 runs uh, to kind of get some of that going. And so uh, they, they had really good energy today in, in shoot around, uh, considering that we just played less than 24 hours. Uh, but, you know, we're going to have to keep doing this all conference. And so we're going to have to figure out how to bring a little bit more energy and be able to score some baskets. Coach Drew Tennis again with the College Heights Herald. And um, I was wondering, you have Old Dominion uh, next. Uh, based on what you know about Old Dominion, what are you going to have to work on to get a win? Transition defense, containing their pressure or handling their pressure defense. Uh, they're really good at, at putting pressure upon you. We'll have to make sure we don't turn the ball over. That's been a problem for us all season. Uh, and then transition defense because they'll they'll get out and run and they'll really attack that. And so we need uh, some players to keep to stop. I'm sorry, not to keep to stop messing with the ball after we have a turnover or a missed shot. And we need to get back on defense. And so uh, we got some that like to get up there and keep getting up there and mess when that really weakens our defense on the back. And so uh, we're going to have to work on a transition defense and we're going to make sure that we handle their pressure and we need to score layups and make free throws. Coach Hunter Smith with WBKO. Just um, so Merrill and Raneem finished in double digits, but they were the only two. Meanwhile, Middle Tennessee had five players, I believe, finished in double digits. How can you guys go about getting more of the uh, more players involved in the offense? Make shots. They're touching the ball. They're getting layups. They've got some open looks. Make shots. Anything else for Coach? Hey, Coach. Thanks.